President Uhuru Kenyatta says the threat of global terrorism remains Kenya's biggest challenge as we embark on the new year. In his New Year's message, the head of state promised that the government will take all necessary measures under the law to root out terrorism. At the stroke of midnight, Kenyans join the rest of the global community to usher in the new year 2015. In a televised address from State House Nairobi, President Uhuru Kenyatta urged Kenyans to celebrate their ethnic diversity and stay united for greater prosperity. If we love one another, celebrate our diversity, resist division, and stay united, we will achieve greatness. In 2014, Kenya witnessed a series of terror attacks using grenades and improvised explosive devices. Al-Shabaab militants also occasionally sneaked through the porous Kenya-Somalia border to kill and maim innocent civilians. Between April and May, Nairobi County witnessed terror attacks in Isili, Pangani, Gikomba, and Thika Superhighway. In June, suspected terrorists killed 60 people, including police officers in Lamu County. Late November and early December, Al-Shabaab terrorists massacred 64 Kenyans in Mandera County. The counties of Mombasa, Wajia, and Garissa also reported sporadic terror attacks. President Uhuru Kenyatta wants Kenyans to remain alert on the threat of terror in 2015. My administration remains committed to rooting out the evil of terrorism. Last month, members of the National Assembly passed Security Laws Act 2014 during an acrimonious and chaotic session. The opposition has moved to court seeking vacation of the new security laws, arguing they are unconstitutional and infringe on civil liberties. But the government has defended the new laws, arguing they will stem terrorism and organized crime. We will never allow anyone to intensify our vulnerability in the name of freedom and democracy. In securing Kenya, we secure progress. By protecting our people, we protect democracy. Through the defense of our nation, we defend our freedom. This is not a responsibility that my administration will pass on to anyone else. Despite the government setting up policy and institutional frameworks to curb corruption, the public procurement sector still suffers from widespread corruption. The war on corruption must be won. In 2015, I urge all Kenyans to join me in slaying the dragon of corruption. The president says the government has finalized drafting laws that will guide and regulate exploration and use of mineral wealth across the country for sustainable development. My administration is committed to ensure that this wealth becomes a source of prosperity and the, for the current and future generations as well. The president says during the year, the Jubilee administration will continue to take measures to strengthen devolution as well as protecting youth from political manipulation, radicalization, drug and substance abuse. The government will also expand Huduma centers to reach every part of the country. Patrick Amimo, KTN.